Okay, good morning, humanity. It's, uh, what is it? It's April 24th, 2023, and it's the favorite time of our week because it's Mondays with Bev and Paul. Hey, everybody, my name is Paul. Good morning. This is Bev. Hey, sorry we're a little late today. Of course, we had glitches. What else can you say? Yep. Yep. <laughs> so it's all part of our topic. Is DNA our destiny? <laughs> that was our destiny Ooh. not to be on there because who knows why. But here we are. We're going to talk about is DNA our destiny? How, how does that work with BioTouch if it does at all? Now, the first thing we want to let you know is we are not experts in this field. No. <laughs> we, as, as Bev said, we've read just enough and heard enough to be dangerous. <laughs> so, <laughs> but but it makes for a good that loop. <laughs> right. It makes for a good dialogue. So yes. if you're on with us and have any comments about this idea, but uh, we're going to talk about why we even wanted to start this uh, dialogue. So. Uh, Bev stumbled upon something uh, last night, wasn't it? I, yeah, stumbled is right. Yeah, I just I saw this commercial, and I came in a, at the last of it. So unfortunately, I don't remember the product or whatever. But the whole thing ended in a quote: uh, "DNA does not have to be your destiny." And I thought. Wow. Well, of course, you know, the first person I thought of was Dr. Bruce Lipton. Right. We we've talked, talked about, about that many times right. um, that he says that whatever medical science has thought for the last 500 years is wrong <laughs> about that, you know. So um, anyway, it just really got my attention. I thought if they're starting to put this out there for people to see, something's going on here. Right. I think it's exciting, you know. Right, especially when it's on public TV and, and these streaming services and we're talking about, you know, there is a, a different way. So let's talk about a little bit about that and remind people again, Bruce Lipton, who uh, is in, uh, deals with epigenetics is what they call it. Yes. And it's funny because I was talking to my grandson who's a DNA cellular biologist. He's doing well. his research. And, I love it. And so when I bring this stuff up to him, he's like, well, yeah, that's really interesting, you know, that, you know, what are you finding with DNA? And so he starts talking and I'm like, whoa, you know, but he know. understands the fact that DNA is not structured. And, and a lot of it, he said, dealt with the stressors in our life Ooh. or the thoughts in our life, which is what Bruce Lipton keeps saying, doesn't he? Yes, yes. I mean, you know, just to to recap just his aha moment when he did that research back in the 80s at Stanford, he discovered that, wait a minute, we can change our DNA structure, but you have to be willing to go to the cause, to the very, you know, foundation of that, which is the cellular level. And you can make that change. And here's the kicker. You make the change with love. Right. Well, when I heard that, I'm like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> and, it reminds and, me of BioTouch. Right, it does. Because that's our purpose, you know, is to give an application of love. And, yeah. you know, it's interesting, too, because he's actually hooked up with Anita Morjani. Now, we're just giving you a bunch of information here. If you want more details or the real truth here, you're going to have Do to look these research. people up, right? You're going to have to look it up. There's a lot right. of information. But Anita Morjani, uh, uh, I think a book she wrote was Dying to Be Me or whatever. She's yeah. hooked up with uh, Bruce, and they do a lot of circuit discussions. And her whole thing was, what did she learn? She had stage four cancer. All of her organs were completely breaking down. And she basically died. Uh, she came back to life. And within less than a week, she had no cancer. All her organs were perfectly uh, healed. Okay. And to this day, she goes on book tours, very healthy. And what was the one thing she learned on the so-called other side? It was about love. That she'd spent her whole life in fear, even though she had a lot of spiritual ideas and lovingness and kindness, but she still was always afraid of her health. She always had that little thing in the back of her brain. And so she would eat right and she would do all these things 
uh, not out of a choice of her destiny, but a fear, a fear. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Yes. And and so you know, I think this concept of just bringing love in, but not uh, not that fluff stuff, you know, not that stuff that, where you're evading your fears. Like you got to come face to face with the yeah. fears, and that's what Bruce Lipton's saying. You got to see the training. You were trained all these thought systems. You were trained to believe these things, and then it was locked in your memory. Of the, like for me, let's deal with the prostate condition. I go to the doctor. The first thing he asked me, what's, did my parents or my grandparents have it? And I'm like, well, yeah, I think they did. And he said, so the minute I tell him I'm German, oh my God, you have 50 plus percent <laughs> probability that it could be cancer because you're of German lineage and the data shows this and the data shows that. And oh, I'm oh, like... God. And you're bombarded with all of this. Yeah, and it's all DNA memory stuff. Now, yeah. he's a pretty good, you know, uh, naturopath because he's helped me go into what I did. I started doing the BioTouch. I started to feel at peace in myself to where I could make different choices. From that state, what happens with that BioTouch, I find, is it just puts you in that state that we're going to call love. Yep. where you really can listen to your inner messages. Well, this is where healing begins to take place. I mean, it makes so much sense, doesn't it? The moment that you put your body in a state of, because one of the biggest stressors is fear. I mean, let's face it, come on. Fear takes you places you really don't want to go, but it's so easily, that seems to be the path of least resistance for uh, you know, society, the, uh, the human kingdom at this point is fear. Right. And then we fed ourselves that over millennium of time uh, thing. But when you put the body, this is what BioTouch does. It puts the body in a state of rest where you can breathe. And it's in that time. And see, this is what Bruce says. This is where you can change the dialogue. That's a really interesting thing because in that inner self-awareness, a lot of that, what happens is we begin to question, to ask, to re-question, and we are basically having an inner dialogue. Well, when you begin through that self-awareness to, as you were saying, start loving ourselves in a whole nother way, and just by allowing ourselves to have something like BioTouch or or whatever, is is a first step, because it's it's in that time that the body has an opportunity, what to just to come into an awareness of being, right. and that is when things start happening. You cannot heal if you've got all this jittery stuff going on, and and the dialogue is, oh my god, oh my god, you know, I'm I'm right. in fear, and I'm going to die, or whatever. So, well, yeah. and that's what we're trained from a very young age. Yes. It goes back to, you know, how did, when I was five years old, I wished that everybody could be happy and healthy. And then I felt guilty. So already the thoughts were in there. You can't right. be wishing for everybody to be happy and healthy. You should be you wishing see, for a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, be a kid. Yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, and, and I think we hear lots of stories about children who, you know, they see lights or they see oh. things moving or, oh you know, they, they become attentive and, and we sort of bang it out of them. You know, don't trust your own uh, inner voice. Don't trust that peace and quietness of you. You know, right. and it's not, you know, they're not channeling some high beings. They are that high. I mean, they are that essence. Why yeah. is all the great teachings say, be ye as little children? I know. That's really? where you change the, the, the DNA. You change your destiny there. So uh, homeopathics is another one who deals with that. You know, they give you this very minute, if you haven't looked into homeopathy, it's really worth looking into. Very interesting. Yeah. You know, you get this little magic pellet, you know, this small, you know, that has a, a, a thing in it that of yeah. the disease that you have, like gets rid of like. But right. the whole analysis of it with a good homeopath is they look at your past. They look at your history. They look at the baggage that you're carrying from generations, you know, uh, 
we had somebody uh, uh, who read a book once about we even carry the trauma from past, our alcoholism from past, yes. the traumas from past, the sexual abuse from past. So a lot of things that we we might be going through isn't really ours. Some of our emotional baggage isn't really ours, you know. Exactly. The lineage. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, if we remember, though, you know, the, the whole experiment, so to speak, is that we come back in family groups. This is the arena, what, where we as we come into the world and we learn from our environment and from the input of those in our immediate family group, preparing us to go out into the bigger family group, which is humanity itself. Right. Well, we know that there aren't any perfect families right now. We're working our way through stuff. And so we have a lineage. It's not just physical, is it? As you were just saying, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, a unconscious lineage from our ancestors that we all carry. And a lot of times, the reason that we have issues of not being able to um, heal or come into is that we don't understand that the cause of that goes way beyond us. And so, you know, the message is, and Bruce kind of re uh, imagine this for us. You have to get, this is a whole what basis of holistic medicine anyway. You have to get to the root cause of the dis-ease. Right. Whether it's emotional, mental, and we carry all of it in this body, which is why BioTouch is here. And that's what we're trying to do is just get this simple act of loving kindness out to humanity you know, and we're trying to also break another DNA thought system, which is, um, you know, price equals worth. You know, what we're trying to say is we have something here you can freely use immediately. We're, and you will be effective just by doing the greeting. If you want to be part of our 21 day challenge and just do the greeting with someone for 21 days, you probably would notice a difference, mm -hmm. you know. And, and changes are happening. It, it's that guy that he was a neurobiologist, psychotherapist. I don't know what he was, but he w gave this presentation at a conference once that when you have a wow moment in your life, changes happen in the deepest seat of consciousness. He said, if you want to experience that today, go out and have those people do that little touch therapy they're doing out there in the hallway. <laughs> that little old bio touch. I'm like, and every time we work with people, every time we just do the greeting and maybe the headset, people sort of open their eyes and what's the first thing they say? Yeah, wow. Wow. <laughs> so, <I know. laughs> so changes are happening. We might not even be aware of them. Right. And maybe we're developing a change for the next generation. Maybe we're help, helping the destiny of generation after That'd generation. Doesn't thought. Yeah, that doesn't have to live in the same kind of fear. And maybe if you really look at the expansiveness of the possibilities, there's a planet that truly does care about one another. Oh, maybe that's a possibility. Maybe that's a possibility. I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking you're right. <laughs> so, well, and we talk about that chain, right? That you're going chain of down. life, <laughs> right? right? So it's in our mission statement, it's in our vision statement, it's in our logo with the, you know, and so we're asking you to join us. Join yes. us by just taking those two fingers and reaching out and touching another human being. You can go to our website, justtouch.com. There's lots of videos, there's free sharing of it. You can download the greeting for free. Uh, if you feel like you need to go beyond self-training with our ebook manual, you can take some of our classes. We have virtual classes. We have live classes here in Tucson. And we do a workshop every month when we take a specific condition. And this month, we need to take a little time for that, we have an awesome uh, workshop. It's on chronic inflammation. Well, I forgot the M again. So, <laughs> but... <laughs> You know, if you read again, look it up, chronic inflammation. Most 90% of the diseases that we have come from chronic inflammation in it the body. It is true. <laughs> yes. That's another thing that they're discovering, that they're starting to piece together. All of these autoimmunes. 
And you it, know? And it comes down from generation to generation. Yeah. Neil Cannon's going to talk to us about his uh, life journey uh, working with it in himself and, and what he's doing to help coach people uh, with VitalitySecret.com. So, you know, that's the, our goal is to teach this to people. And in that workshop, you'll hear a little from him. We'll teach you a few sets of points. There's a workbook that goes along with it. And you can start to help you and your family and your loved ones and your neighbor or your colleagues at work. It just goes on and on. Right. Or just pull somebody off the street and go, hey, I, can I do the greeting with you? <laughs> or if you stub your toe or have an earache, just pull somebody off the street. Hey, could you do this thing on my ears here? <laughs> I mean, we're laughing, but that's right. literally what can happen. Yes, it is. It is. It when is. we feel comfortable that touching is okay, yeah. that really loving our neighbor is yeah. a possibility. Yeah. It's a real possibility. It and as we do that, I think we can change the DNA structure, which will change our destiny. I'm not even sure what that means, but, <laughs> you know... <laughs> You know, it's sort of, it you know. It sounds wonderful. It does. It does. So, you know, also you had that quote. I, I think we, I wanted to quote that one too from James Allen, that book we read way back when. Way back when. Yeah, as go, a go ahead and, yeah. and give us that quote there. Yeah, I love this quote. It stuck with me since the 70s. You are what you think, having become what you thought. Think about that. <laughs> Yeah. But don't think about it too much. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. Just take the two fingers, touch another human being. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to center yourself. You don't have to be in any state of mind. Just think of it as a loving, kind touch that takes away the pain. And so in that, we want to share our very special song by Horace. Uh, one of the many that he's given to BioTouch. And this one is called Take Away Your Pain. So listen to his words. Thank you, Bev. Thanks, Paul. Thank Thanks, you, everyone, everyone, for participating in this journey for uh, with us. And uh, we'll see you all next week. Bye. I can feel the pain sunshine or rain so it's not caused by the weather but it doesn't hurt that much after I feel your loving touch and we spend some time together you take my pain away each and every day You're an angel from heaven On high Your butterfly touch Helps me heal so much And I get better as time Goes by You take my pain away